Hi, my name is Caleb. This is my cookie recipe. I've made cookies a lot of times. You're going to start with setting your oven to 375 degrees Fahrenheit. All right, here I'm adding the white sugar. This is a half a cup. Next, we're going to add a quarter cup of brown sugar. This is light brown sugar today. And I've melted my butter. This is eight ounces of butter, one stick. You should use unsalted butter. Otherwise, it'll be too salty. I'm just mixing it thoroughly. Getting any clumps of butter out. Next, we're adding our egg, just one egg for each stick of butter. And we're going to add a bit of vanilla with the egg. This is one teaspoon today. For this mix, we're going to just barely incorporate the egg. Don't overmix it. Okay, here we're adding our whole wheat flour. We're adding a half a cup of whole wheat. Using weighted measurements is fine, but it's so fast to just use half cups and it's been working out for me for years, so. Next, I'm adding some baking soda. That was half a teaspoon. And then here I'm adding all-purpose flour. I used a whole cup. Now I'm just mixing it and making sure I get all the flour off of the edges and scraping the edges. I already added a pinch of salt and a pinch of cinnamon at some point to it, maybe it was off camera. But here we're going to add chocolate chips. I like to add a cup of chocolate chips, and I used three different kinds today, just because it was what I had around. I used some mini chocolate chips and some regular size ones. If a cup is too much for your taste, you can go down a bit, but I like to load mine up. Alright, we're getting the cookie dough all mixed up. It's moments like this that I like to let my mind wander. And think about the bigger picture. Like how I'm going to eat all of this cookie dough and cookie myself, most likely. And I just like to pack it together. Looking back, I, I probably could have gotten some parts of it a little more together less crumbly even but overall we did pretty good and it's a it's a balance of mixing it right without uh over beating the egg so here we're using uh, parchment paper on our pan now the key to getting cookies the size you want them is if you want a bigger cookie for instance like me you have to just do a smaller batch just i don't cook all my cookie dough at once so here I just did three in the oven at a time. I arrange them into circles and then I like to flatten them out a bit, probably to a uh, half an inch or so, um, up to an inch thick even on a big one. But Now something to notice is you'll kind of get a different cooking time depending on how big your cookies are. So these are probably like a third of a cup to even a half a cup each of dough and 
I end up cooking them for about nine minutes here. But let's say you had even more dough or bigger cookies, one big cookie in the middle of the pan or two, then you would want to do it up to like 12 or so minutes. But uh, smaller cookies might be done in like seven minutes. All right. Now I'll just have a bit of a time lapse showing the cookies bake. Always important to keep the counter clean before and after and during. This is the best time to clean everything that you can too. Cookies were one of the first things I started to bake. And I got the recipe, I think off of Google originally, but I've kind of worked on it myself and this is the one that's stuck. I just make them from memory every time. And, uh, you know, it changes a little every time, too. I don't always have whole wheat. Sometimes I put oats in it. You just, uh, if you do oats, you know, you do just like a pinch less flour and you can uh, do less chocolate chips, too, and use the oats in place of some of those chips. Um, I also like throwing in like toffee chips or caramel chips I've had before I think they were these are not vegan cookies The nice thing about cookies is that they can be done in about 20 or 30 minutes from start to finish, and there's not too much cleanup either. You know, I only use that one bowl and maybe like uh, another bowl for butter or stuff along those lines. Now the key to seeing if they're done or not, if, if you start to see like darkening around the edges, like serious darkening, then they're, they're done. Um, probably past done. You want to get them right before that happens. But uh, also depends on how long you leave them on the pan after you pull them out. So I think when I pull them out here, I decide they're ready to come off the pan. They're done. So we'll get to show them to you right away. If they're already done, just pull them to a cool surface like a cutting board or a clean counter or a plate. And then they'll solidify quick and they'll stop baking on the pan. Look at that. And then you start the next batch and enjoy. Make sure you get some milk. I think I use some oat milk here. Let me know if you tried this recipe or how you changed it, or let me know your chocolate chip recipe in the comments. And if you like this, make sure you like and subscribe for more videos. All the beats in the video were made by me. Make sure to check out my other videos. My name is Ski Dog Leb. This is Caleb, and thank you so much.